Hi, welcome back to another music video reaction. Like the title says, in this one we're gonna be reacting to Lauren's Empty Trash music video. Lauren has finally his debut. Uh, I, I can't really say that actually because I just know him from Blackpink's Love Seek Girls and I actually thought he was just, you know, a model being the love interest or the uh, significant other in the Love Seek music video but he's actually a musician and I didn't know that before that. I went onto Twitter after reacting to the Love Sick music video and everyone was writing oh he's also like label mates with Blackpink's kinda um, more actually with Zomi because he's under the black label if I'm not totally wrong which is like the sub label of YG and uh, which is Teddy's label and um yeah, so I was kind of surprised. I was like, oh, cool, he's also a musician, but he didn't release anything yet. And then just a few days ago, they were like, yep, he's going to release his, I think, first single. And I was like, oh, oh, I have to react to it because, first of all, we share nearly the same name. It's just missing an A at the end. You know, my name is Lorena and his stage name, I don't know if that's his real name. I think it's his stage name is Lauren. So, you know. That's already similar. Plus, I was just curious on what style and what genre he's gonna do. I saw the music video teaser, which I was kind of surprised. I was like, oh, he's going into the punk rock kind of lane, which it fits with his, you know, style, his, his just clothing style and just his aura in general. But I was just surprised because, you know, I connect YG and the Black Label more with hip hop and pop and R&B, like in that realm, EDM kind of stuff. So I was really surprised to see them do punk rock kind of influenced songs. So really, really curious. So I think without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and react to Lauren's Empty Trash music video. Yo! Hold up, wait, he plays both things? Guitar and the drums? Hey! Hey! Hold up! I'm loving his voice color. He has a nice voice color and he's a good looking man. Like I, I knew that already from the Love Sick Girl music video, but damn bro. Yo! He kind of reminds me a little bit of Hyunjin, not only because of the long hair, just like, I don't know, his eyes maybe? Just a little bit? Yo, Hyunjin from Stray Kids, just <laughs> making sure. Hell of heaven. Hey, hey. Oh, that. Uh... Okay, so he, so he plays both instruments. That's pretty cool, man. Yo. Yo. Now I want to make that like blood black kind of separation, but probably won't be able to pull it off like he does. But then again, it would be actually really cool. Just, you know, a little bit blonde and then the rest black. I don't know. I, sh I maybe should do it. But uh, what I wanted to say is I listen to punk rock. It's actually kind of like a weakness of mine, because if you look back on all the songs, and music genres I listen to it is heavily influenced on what my mom and my dad listens to like my mom likes hip-hop so I got into hip-hop and my dad loves pop stuff and um, just funky music so I got that from him so I always stayed in that lane and k-pop you know has also huge influence from hip-hop and um, EDM and all that stuff but punk and rock no one in my family listens to that so that's kind of like the style, the music style that I kind of found for myself too. So this is actually a huge weak point of mine, a song style, a music style like this. So 
I'm feeling it heavy this song. Oof. Yo, you handsome as hell. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Mm. That weight in there, that suck, sucking out of the instruments for a second. Mm. Oof. Yo, that fireworks behind there. Did they really put him in front of fireworks in a closed space? Like that goes against like everything on the instructions on the fireworks that you shouldn't do with fireworks. But it, it makes a dope visual in that like, how do you call that, in that space that he's in there. Look at that, that's so... especially the big one, that's cool. And that was made for real, right? It wasn't in front of the green screen, it does It does look for real, man. Eee. Also love like the dirty filter that is kind of over it, that retro filter. It fits to the empty trash kind of theme, you know, really dirty kind of, like how, like the lens was dirty or something like that. Fuck <laughs> Yo, that last line, hold up, hold up, that last line is everything. <laughs> That's such a mood, that last line. And the loners, Lauren and the loners. Are we called the loners or is his band called the loners? You know, because I saw already the music teaser, I knew the direction of the music style, I knew the direction of the music video. So there wasn't any surprises in that way. But even though you knew what's coming, it still can be dope, if you know what I mean. And he delivered on that. And like I said, punk rock with a little bit of like maybe hip hop influence in between, like really, really small. It's totally my lane and it's kind of my weak spot because it's like a genre that just I and my family listen to. So yo, also his voice color, like in the first verse when, you know, that distortion came off and he was just his voice. I was like, ooh, ooh, he has a nice voice too. So. I'm effing with this one heavy. Like, I can't wait to see what he's gonna do next. Like, what his musical journey will be. Because I think he's gonna go big. Like, really big. I hope you guys enjoyed this little reaction right here. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of Lauren's Empty Trash music video. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Be safe. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Peace.